everyone and welcome back to my channel well guys you have seen it of course already from the thumbnail that today we are going to make a Jennifer Lopez doll but it's not going to be just like any Jennifer Lopez doll I'm not going to take just a Barbie fashionista and turn her into a J-Lo today I'm going to work with this absolutely unique special edition Jennifer Lopez World Tour doll released by Mattel a couple of years ago. I don't really remember when this doll was released, but I would say it's something around, I don't know, 2013-2015 because it's been really a while since I've seen these dolls for sale online and stuff like this, you know, advertised online. So this is quite an old doll and that's why when I've seen her for sale in one of our local online stores I've bought her immediately even though it cost 80 euro or even 90 euro or something like this I wanted to work on her really badly because you know it's just in another experience one thing is to take a Barbie fashionista that doesn't look like Jennifer Lopez for example and try to turn her into Jennifer Lopez and it's completely another thing when you can really work on a doll that has been molded, that has been sculpted to look like Jennifer Lopez. Normally they supposed to follow kind of her facial features, facial structure. So it's going to be very interesting because honestly right now this doll doesn't really look like Jennifer Lopez that much. I can see the similarity of the face mold, but the makeup, it's a little bit off. So now let's open the box, let's remove all this plastic because it reflects the lights here so you cannot really see the face. So let's open this box, let's take a closer look and let's decide what we think about this doll and what we are going to do to her today because I don't know what to do with her hair. I need to take a look at it in reality. Yeah, and her body and her outfit. Ah, yeah, here, by the way, I see now on the bottom of this box, it says Mattel 2013. So, I don't know, maybe, of course, it's like the legal rights for this doll were created in 2013. But I really think this is when it was released. I kind of remember this j Law dolls being made so I'm really happy to have one of these dolls in my hands so now let's unbox it let's take a closer look at this doll and then we'll decide what we're going to do with this doll to make her look like a real Jennifer Lopez so and while I'm working of course please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new videos and also of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes because it's really important this is what YouTube algorithm reacts at so your likes really matter it's not just me greedy here uh, sitting you know collecting likes no it's really something that would help to promote my art to show it to a bigger amount of people so thank you so much for watching this video and i'm going to start working Uh -huh, here I've got a certificate of authenticity, really nice. And so here is the doll, now we can see her face better, but I'm not really sure if this face looks 100% like J-Lo. But I don't think I could reach a better resemblance with just one of fashionista dolls. So it's really interesting where we are going to end up with this doll face, with, with this kind of unique one-of-a-kind face mold. I don't know, I'm a little bit doubting about her hair because the hair color is perfect. These highlights, they're ideal. But the curls, they don't look that good. You know, normally I always reroot those hair or I make wigs for them. But this time I think I will keep her original hair and we will experiment with styling it in the end. Let's see if we can turn this hair into something better looking. 
Then let's take a look at her outfit. And yes, this is really a beautiful one. Most of these collectible Barbies have really nice quality outfits. So I'm not going to dismiss it. We will use it in the final photo shoot. But I will make also another outfit for her. And then she can pose in two different dresses, in two different outfits. And then we also have the shoes. Look cute, normal. Now let's disconnect the head from the body and for this I will warm the head up with a hair dryer. But her hair I'm going to protect with a towel because it's going to melt if we use hot air on it for too long. And now I can take pure acetone and remove her original face. Then I can spray the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. It will make the surface very matte and I will be able to draw on it with watercolor pencils and with soft pastels. I've selected a couple of reference pictures and I can tell you now that the face, at least some parts of the face, has been really nicely sculpted. The eyelids, the smiling lines, the eyes, they're perfectly on the right places. But I just feel like her mouth looks a little bit more, I don't know, generic, like a regular Barbie smile. It's not exactly like J-Lo smiles. But for the rest, everything is really good. But this is her mouth, what throws everything a little bit off. Then I start working on her skin tone and please don't worry, I'm not painting her white. This white pigment will become transparent after I spray it with the sealant and it will transform into some sort of a nice natural shade. So in this step I'm applying shadows, highlights and blush. And after this I'm going to take my watercolor pencils again and I will draw the rest of her face.
Okay, now I think I'm quite satisfied with the face and the next step is blushing her body. For this I'm going to sand it nicely with nail buffers to remove this glossy top from the surface. Then I will prime it with Mr. Super Clear Sealant. Hello cat, <laughs> thank you for your assistance. And after this I will blush it with the same soft pastels like we've just used on her face. This cat is going to become famous soon, really. <laughs> So here are the face and the body and now let's probably style her hair before we move on to the outfit. And first of all I'm going to brush her hair really nicely. The next step is making her hair straight and I'm going to use my mini hair straightener for it. And then I take a hair curler and I make curls. So guys, here is the new hairstyle of my J.Lo, it looks pretty good to me, but I know what you're going to tell. You're going to tell Poppin, and what about the glow? You forgot the glow. Well, I know guys, I've even got out these metallic pastels from Pan Pastel, but the problem is that I will have to seal these pastels with Mr. Super Clear sealant to keep them on, on place, otherwise all this highlighter is going to just fly away. And this doll, after I spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant, will become completely matte again. I've tried it many times before and I don't even want to make her body and face dirty and like over sealed. So let's apply gloss to her eyes and lips and then we can move on to the outfit and her glow. It's gonna be an imaginary glow, I don't know, we should kind of imagine that this doll glows. I really want to recreate her iconic green outfit from Versace because it was already iconic in the early 2000s, I remember it guys. But about a year ago J.Lo wore the new incarnation of this dress again and it has become double as iconic since then and this is actually a very easy dress. There is a long skirt and there are two straps of fabric starting in the middle of the body 
going around the shoulders and then coming back to the belly button area. But the main problem here was to find a similar fabric. Guys, I tell you honestly, I've spent four days searching online. I looked for all kinds of blouses, dresses, scarves, I don't know, something like this with tropical print, something that would look similar like this famous Versace print, but there was absolutely nothing like this. I found even an original Versace scarf with this print for 350 euro for sale. You know, guys, <laughs> it's a serious challenge, buying a 350 euro scarf to make an outfit for your doll. But then I found these beautiful bikinis on Asus. It was probably the happiest moment in my life since March, since the beginning of the lockdown. It's unbelievable that they just borrowed the Versace print for their swimsuit collection. Legendary, but it's definitely good for me. So, what do you think I've bought, guys? A Versace scarf for almost $400 or a bikini for 22 euro? Well, I've bought the biggest bikini bottom they had in stock. Look, it's size 54 European and American it's size 22. Because big size bikini, guys, delivers you much more fabric than a small size bikini. So I'm extremely happy about this bikini bottom, guys. And now we're going to turn it into a Versace outfit. First of all, I need to cut it all and turn this bikini into fabric. Then let's cut out the skirt. I turn in the waistline and then we can attach the straps. I've attached the button to the dress and now I want to add this decoration on top of it. And honestly guys, I have no idea what, what is this exactly, this little golden thing, but I think that this is a piece of a chandelier from some dollhouse. I'm not sure exactly, but it looks exactly like the golden decoration on the original Versace dress. I don't know, universe is just helping me in all directions this week. And then I still make a pair of mini bikini pants. For the shoes, I've decided to give her this pair of Barbie shoes. It looks pretty similar like the original shoes on the picture. And after this, I think we can finally put everything together. And then we'll take a look at the end result pictures. No, wait guys, you know what? I still want her to glow. 
I was thinking about it for a couple of days and I really want my J.Lo to glow so we will do something pretty risky right now and we will try to apply the lightest layer of golden highlighter to her body and face using my airbrush so I'm going to use golden acrylic paint to create this golden highlighter effect I almost got a heart attack while doing it, but everything looks really good after all, now I'm happy. So now let's finally take a look at the result of our work today. So guys, here is my J.Lo with her two outfits and I really love how different these two looks are. The only problem with the original outfit is that this glitter, this silver glitter, it really transfers everywhere. They should have glued it better in some way. And for the rest, I really love my mini superstar. I'm happy I've decided to add this glow in the end. It was quite a risky step, but it worked this time and she looks really like some real glow queen. <laughs> glow is still a very important attribute of J. Law's iconic looks. So, and what do you think, guys? Which version of J. Lo do you like most? Mine or the one from the Mattel? And which outfit is your favorite also? And what do you think in general about this doll and this makeover? Also, I will for sale on eBay, like always. It will be available for three days. So check out the link in the description box if you want to adopt my mini version of J. Lo. And also, guys, please don't hesitate to tag J.Lo. Who knows, maybe they will see it eventually. Everything happens. Imagine if J.Lo could see my dolly paint. Wow, it would, be, it would be surreal. So, guys, that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you ready very soon in my new dolly paint video. Love you guys. Bye.